up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. Again, Jeff, really? This is the third time this week, Jeff. Attention everyone, the meeting is starting now, it's time to get serious. We need to bolster our grocery category sales by improving our Amazon Fresh numbers. How do we do this? Well, I have decided that we need to acquire Whole Foods. Questions? Thoughts? Compliments? I mean, that sounds like a nice idea, but it could be pretty risky. Do we know how our competitors are going to react to that? Well, that's why we have Julia here. Julia? Thank you. So I've been doing a lot of research about our competitors, and right now Walmart owns one of our biggest competitors, Jet.com, and they're considering launching a brand called Uniquely J, and they target the same demographic as Whole Foods, so that could potentially be a big threat for us. Okay, but like how big of a threat are we talking about? Like would we be better off by not acquiring Whole Foods in the first place? Well, as my good friend Yao once taught me, there's only one way to figure this out, and that is, of course, to create a decision tree. So I noticed the equilibrium is clearly where we choose to acquire Whole Foods and Walmart launches Uniquely J. Uh, isn't that bad because we don't want them to launch the brand? Uh, no, not necessarily. Julia, uh, move. Oh. So as you can see from our decision tree here, our most ideal course of action is to acquire Whole Foods and then have Walmart not launch Uniquely J, which is right here, at which time we would make $40 million. That's not terribly realistic. So a more realistic way that this would go is we acquire Whole Foods and then Walmart chooses to compete by launching Uniquely J. So while we only make $30 million as opposed to $40 million, we still come out on top as opposed to not acquiring Whole Foods, which yields us zero dollars. So I think it's pretty clear, you know, we should acquire Whole Foods. Well, then we should acquire it now. I agree. Bye. Alexa, acquire Whole Foods. Acquiring Whole Foods for $13.7 billion. Completed. All right, okay, so uh, I'm here. I'm outside of Packer Hall. About to go inside and meet Savannah, I think her name is. Met her on the internet over the LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's impossible to meet anyone in this city anymore. So I'm hoping for the best. Let's go. It's uh, nice to meet you too. How's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, you know, pretty great. It's pretty hot over here. Yeah. So, um, so where do you work? Amazon, actually. Oh, really? Oh, Amazon. I hate that place. It just, it's like they come in here and they just shove all the Seattleites out of town like it's no big deal. They're just running their own operation, just doing whatever the heck they want, buying up all these businesses and just... I swear, if you don't even make six figures, you can't even live here anymore. Sorry, I know you work there and everything, but... No, it's totally fine. My grandpa has a really similar opinion. Well, where do you work? I work for Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So, you work for Whole Foods, hate Amazon. Have you read the news? You have a LinkedIn. Do you not have the internet? You know, I have the internet. I mean, I guess I just haven't really done much today. What do you, why, what do you mean? Well, Amazon acquired Whole Foods. You're kidding. They're here, boss, now, too. You're kidding. <laughs> You're serious. Yeah. Why? Why would they do something like that? Well, I mean, it makes sense if they not. Well, what makes sense about it? They're just going to buy up as many companies as they can? Like, what's the benefit other than just buying, I just, why? Well, I mean, besides the power of it all, if you think about it, there's an excess demand. There's only so many distribution centers, it makes an excess demand. But if they acquire Whole Foods, those can act as Amazon Fresh distribution centers, shifting out the supply curve and, in the end, lowering prices for consumers. Makes sense, right? I, I gotta go.